dogs, mice, cats, rabbits, and snakes. Just some of the creatures in residence here at the MSPCA Angel Animal Medical and Protection Center. They take in roughly 20,000 animals each year for adoption and more than 50,000 for emergency and medical treatment. Why are they here? The reasons are often tragic. Dogs have been found drowned in washing machines, attacked with chainsaws, and even shot. One cat was discovered burned in a microwave. We're estimating that it was cooked for a little over a minute. The bottom half of his tail had to be amputated because it died from that. He had surface burns on his feet and almost lost his ears. Trent, a ball python, was brought in by animal control after he was found nailed to a pole. Officers struggled to remove the snake with pliers. He's doing a lot better. He actually, there was a concern he might lose the end of his tail, but x-rays and that have proved that the nails missed all his vital organs. Abuse isn't the only reason animals are here. Economic pressures have forced many pet owners to surrender their furry companions. Diego was man's best friend, until he was put up for adoption by his owners who lost their home to foreclosure. Their landlord will no longer allow the animal or their moving. And because of the economy that we're in today, a lot of the reasons are now turning towards foreclosures, uh, cost of keeping an animal, cost of care. Some of the animals here have never had a home. Anna, an adorable four-month-old kitten, was brought here shortly after birth. She needed some extra TLC and attention. She's a kitten with cerebellar hypoplasia. She basically has no ability to balance. It's something that she can work on and that we work on with her and she'll gain a little bit better balance but she's always going to be a little bit wobbly. The four arms of the MSPCA, medicine, law, advocacy and adoption are all clearly at work here. From cats and dogs to birds and snakes, it's all about care and kindness for the animals. Reporting in Jamaica Plain, I'm Lori Zalkin.